Testing, testing, all right. Testing. Hey, what's up guys, Max here, and today we have a survey. And I think I found this survey very interesting. Typically, I skip over surveys. I don't go out and actually go and record them and showcase the questions inside, but I found some questions to be really interesting. It's a total of eight questions. Some of them have multiple selection and options, of course, making it a little bit longer, but it's not too long of a, a questionnaire. And if you skip the survey, then you skip the leaked information, if you will, that Kabam is working on. I think they're kind of slowly just trying to get a vibe for the community to see how they feel if they introduce these things. And so basically this is the video. This is the video. If you did skip over the survey, let me know your comments, put it inside the comment here and I will try my best to basically share this with uh, Kabam. If for some reason you skipped over the survey and you're like, no, I see this video and I feel really strong about this subject. So here we are with the first question. How important or unimportant are the following in decisions on how to rank up your highest power champions. So based off Alliance War, for me, somewhat unimportant. And then they go further in and saying, if the champion's abilities kits are able to help you to make, to take on challenging content, very important for me to increase prestige and stats, very important for me. If they are marble champions, I like, so somewhat important. Uh, I, I sometimes do rank up champions that I enjoy. Sometimes I don't, even though they are my favorite because they're just not that strong inside MCOC. If the champion's abilities or kits are able to help me to do well in Alliance quests, very important for me. If they are of a specific class that I need to take on a challenging content. This is where uh, somewhat important, uh, unimportant, I, I, I feel like I have quite a good amount, quite good, good roster. That's just me personally, but I think maybe I would have switched that to somewhat important too as well, but let's continue. So it says here, how interested or uninterested would, you, this is where I think it gets really interesting. Would you be in the following progression systems and being able to take advance or being able to advance a few champions on your roster beyond their rank level power cap. An example, use a new ascension, uh, ascension materials to ascend champions, increasing their stats beyond current rank level limits. So the current max is a four star, a rank four, six star, but we can get them past that basically. But this material can be trans transferred. So you're never, you never lose the investment in which if you switch focus to a new champion. So really interesting. So I can use it on a champion, but as long as I purchase that, which I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be for cash, um, I can actually go out and use this towards another champion. Um, I, I think on this one, I forget what I answered, but I let's take a look here. Uh, um, I think I couldn't make up my mind. Um, I, I really didn't know if I wanted this to be a thing added into the game. Um, you know, this is obviously feedback. Um, so I did neither interested or uninterested, but I think um, I might have switched this. Um, but here's the, let's go on to the second question. Being able to use, so <laughs> there, I think I switched it. What? I switched it, I don't know. Let's see if I end up switching it again. Being able to have your strongest champions increase the stats of other champions in your roster. So this one is kind of cool. Your strongest mutant gives, um, your strong immune mutants give attack bonuses to every other mutant based on their ranks and levels. Um, that again is a feature that I think think they're maybe interested in putting into the game um, again when it comes to like um, I believe it's called gears right everybody calls them gears so I, I you know maybe I'm not interested in that um, here let's go back one a little bit um, and here, here's the uh, third question being able to have your strongest champions increase the stats of other champions on your rosters um, I think I read that one. So your strongest mutant gives attack bonuses to every other mutant based on their rank and levels. I think, yep, that's the one I read. So I think, what did I do here? Someone, in, uh, someone interested. So here is where, like, I think I'm, I'm finding these little features to be some, you know, somewhat interesting. Like, like champions that I've ranked up make my roster a little bit better, right? Collecting items that you can equip on a champion to increase their strength. I think this is the gears. This is the gears that I was uh, referring to. And I, I think it might be interesting because I think I feel like this certain progression I reached cap in the game and 
and I, I think this might be like the next level, the next thing. I don't want to see seven stars. I'd rather see these little features being tweaked, tweak my champions, see my six star reach the rank five and instead of seeing a seven star. So allowing lower, uh, lower rarity champions to power up your highest rarity version by collecting and ranking up all rarities of a specific champion. I think this is my favorite one out of all the questions. This has to be my favorite one. So here's an example, ranking up your two star Hercules, three star, four star, probably five star, uh, gives your stats a boost of your six star Hercules. So if you basically grab that two, three, four, five star Hercules, it boosts up your six star. Now this can be challenging in two ways. Uh, if they, obviously they didn't mention the five star, but let's say you don't have the five star or you don't have the two star, then you're stuck without having the best six star Hercules out there, right? Because now you're, you're hunting for that two or three or four or five star. So it makes you make sure that you're collecting all star levels of this champion. It opens up those two star, three star, four stars that we don't care for or don't care to rank up. I know a lot of people are just like, what a waste of materials, but those are materials those are little materials that we would never use and probably sell. So I think I found this one to be my favorite question and I hope they go through with this. And I think I went very interested in this one, right? Uh, let's see what, what was my decision. I think I'm reading it here actually live. Uh, so let's kind of somewhat. Oh yes, okay, I was gonna say somewhat. Excuse me, Max. <laughs> Here's a, the other question. Gaining champion stat boost by ranking up their whole roster, your whole roster. So get an extra per uh, percentage of health or attack based on how many combined rank ups you have on your roster. So this is kind of cool. So basically when you have a team of five, sometimes you have, you take in a synergy champion, right? And you take in that Heimdall, let's just say Heimdall, right? And you bring him up and he's only rank one because you're not gonna use him. You're using him for his synergies. Well, now if you actually have him rank three, rank four, rank four, five as a five star, uh, he's actually boosting up the stats of your other teams. Dude, I, I kind of like, I super like the direction this is going. Um, so here's the other, I think the third question is this, um, uh, how interested or uninterested would you be in the following? Have more in-fight abilities to perform in addition to regular moves. So specials and block parry decks, right? Have a new button to combo break that has a cooldown super cool man if they go out and add a combo break button into the game i would be super interested in that like i mean it makes figuring out champions and figuring out how they may or may not work a little bit more confusing it adds a little bit more confusion into the game but i think that's a cool addition i don't know how i mean obviously it's going to have a cooldown how often we would be using it here's another one that says have more in fight abilities that trigger off as you perform regular moves so specials pet block decks uh parry decks so have a new bar that automatically combo breaks uh after filling up by hitting uh by let me see getting hit by four, uh, blah, 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 blah. after filling up by getting hit for certain percentage damage again another uh, feature and yes it is i know what you're thinking more things to break and more things to just not go right right but that's the that's the good and the bad of of technology and progression you know we got to keep adding things even though we still don't have Dex Perry completely fixed, you know, I, I get it, but I think it would be a great addition if we start adding more features um, to make the game a little bit more fun, more alive. Um, so being able to equip items that a new, uh, being able to equip items that a new powers, that add new powers and increase the strength of a champion. Wow, um, uh, somewhat interested in that one as well. So it says having the ability to strengthen my highest power champion further to win fights. I think that's super cool. Again, in big long fights, progression of trying to complete hard content, you wanna have your Hercules, which is my favorite champion, the strongest possible. Have the ability to have more options in quests by temporarily adding more champions to your team when you're midway through a quest. Like imagine hitting a milestone somewhere in the quest and it says, okay, instead of swapping champions, which we were doing now in Act 8, well, we started that in, uh, I don't know, but 8.1, I just named the beta most latest feature. We're able, to, once we reach the boss territory, we were able to switch out champions, right? I forget when that started. 
Uh, but imagine midway through your quest, like, hey, if all your entire roster is still alive, you can add another champion. How cool would that be? I mean, I mean, I'm excited for these questions. I know this is not something that it's guaranteed to be brought into the game, but I'm excited to see these. Okay, let's move along. Let's move. Let's move further. How interested or uninterested are you in using your highest power champions to play the following game modes? If you don't play or participate in modes, please select I don't play this mode. So side quests, um, Alliance War. Uh, then we have. Um, basically a few more more i think of this uh it's gonna it's gonna name them all basically there's one that i basically i don't play this mode and i answered truthfully so side quest not that interested uh, some side quests i don't do at all like this month alliance war i'm not uh interested right now i know you because i just don't do alliance war but i do play it versus mode somewhat interested incursions that's the one i don't play at all uh so the temporary side quest grandmaster Gauntlet, Summer of Pain, somewhat interested. Story quest as well. Permanent content, so Abyss of Legends, Realms of Legends. Um, uh, Battlegrounds, I've been in having, I uh, started playing it, having a lot of fun in that area. Event quest, and I think Alliance quest, I think those are the few questions there. Um, so again, I just kind of answered those really quickly. What modes do you currently use your highest power champions in? Please select all that apply. So versus, uh, I would say event quests, battlegrounds, permanent special quests for sure. Side quests, story quest, um, alliance quest, um, uh, temporary special quests, incursions. I don't use alliance war. I don't really care for it either as well. How many uh, six star champions do you currently have ranked four? Uh, I think I chose four here because I was confused, but I think I have five, uh, right? One, two, three, four, I think so. Um, so I went back and I was just like, I don't know if I do, but it just chose, it went with five. So here's the following question, question number six, I believe. We're almost at the end, guys. We're almost at the end. Um, uh, what is the question? Okay, let me see if I can scroll back a little bit. How frequently or unfrequently do you experience the following? Um, okay, so it says not being able to use my strongest champions effectively in fight difficulties with Twitch knowledge, etc. In um, so because the some of the champions are very confusing, I did go with uh, somewhat frequently, I think, or very frequently here. Not having enough challenging content to use your my highest power champions in. Um, this I would enjoy and have, a, I would wish they would offer uh, more content to do it you know, a little bit more difficult. Just in, have quicker content to show up. I don't wanna wait another year for something difficult to come up. I mean, I wish they would just be working on this every three months, every quarter, every six months, something, well, that's once a year. But every three months, a little bit more quicker, you know, harder content. Not having strong enough champions of a specific class. I think I forgot what I chose with this one. Also says not having the resources to rank up my highest power champions. Um, I think I said uh, somewhat frequently here, or very frequently, is because I do and have sometimes difficulty ranking up my champions that I want to rank up that I just don't have ready because of the lack of materials. You know, those are hard, especially T4. T4, man. T4 class catalysts are so hard. Is there anything else you would like to share with us about the current, uh, you currently, about how you currently or will like to use your highest power? champions and Marvel contest of champions so that is the end that is the final questions you can leave your thoughts there and I told them please like and subscribe thank you <laughs> so uh, that is uh, basically um, my results my questionnaire on what basically I think of the game what do you guys think about these questions I mean I'm excited I'm really excited about that other option like having my favorite champions hercules become even stronger i mean how is that even possible but imagine having that two three and four star ranked up to its max and allowing my six star to be a little bit stronger because of it i don't know if i have a two star hercules that's a good question i would have to go in there and check shoot i don't even know how many rank four six stars i currently have that's sad um I got cut off guard on that question. I hope I, I answered correctly. But anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of these questions and what you think of the, the possible addition to the game. I'm excited to see what they're bringing. Uh, if these questions are in the direction of what the game is going towards, 
would be really excited to see all this come out to be true. Um, and I hope it is not just like, oh yeah, let me give you something to stay excited for, but it's something that they're working towards as we speak and they're wanting to know your feedback. So if you haven't had a chance to take the survey and you watch this and you can, and you get a second chance to take the survey, take the survey guys, let them know what you think, how you feel. Of course, these are my own personal thoughts on how I answer the survey and I'm excited. Anyways guys, take care. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.